This video will quickly show you how to input a consigned item for a consigner who has previously consigned items with you. You simply find the consigner in the system by looking up their account. I'm going to be looking right now for Jane Simmons, who's right down here. I'm going to type in her last name because that is how I am sorting by their last name. So I type in S-I-M, and then now Jane Simmons is highlighted. I simply click on Add Item over here to my left, and it will it'll show you that this is Jane Simmons' account that we are working on up at the top of the screen. Now the screen's are really amazing in that you have a lot of control over what does and does not appear on the item entry screen. So basically we have um, probably about 20 fields that you can have showing on the screen. I have chosen to only have about three or four appearing in addition to the category. So you can adjust this the very first time that you go into the item entry screen it will actually have a screen pop up and say to you would you like to customize this screen? And it gives you all of the choices that can appear on here. And this basically dictates what's going to be printing on your price tags. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use an example of clothing. And I'm going to go ahead and say that we're putting in a pair of pants. And um, it defaulted to the word consign because we've told it this is a consigner. Uh, if I was going to purchase this item outright from this individual, I could do that also by simply changing the purchase method to purchase as opposed to consigned and now you'll notice the cost field appearing. I'm going to go ahead and go back to consign and I'm going to hit enter and this is all keyboard based so it's very very fast and very very quick and again I have told it these are the uh, fields that I want to show up. Now what's really interesting you'll notice the attributes field right here is going to populate based on what type of item I'm putting in. I have told it that if I'm putting in a piece of clothing I would only like certain things to appear that I would always like filled in. So I'm going to show you by hit going over here and hit, hitting enter. And I'm going to put in a pair of pants. I'm going to hit P for pants. And it happens to be the only P in the system. So pants filled in for me automatically. Now the attributes that I've told to pop up that you'll notice came up are brand, size, and color. You can have whatever attributes you want to come up to describe your items in this attribute field. So if I wanted size only, for example, then what would print on the ticket would be pants, let's say size 7, and the price if I fill in a price, which obviously you'll want to do that. <laughs> so let me just hit enter and I'll go over to brand. Now I don't know what brands are in here, but if there wasn't one in here, um, I can add one on the next item. So let me just try Versace. I'm going to hit V. Versace is in here. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter to get the next field. I'm going to do size 7 like I had mentioned. And color, let's say these are blue. So I'm going to hit B. Oh, let's see we have beige. I'm going to hit BL. We've got black in here also. Here we go. we got blue. Hit enter. I'm over to the price field. Now, um, we actually have a historical pricing, which you see where it says F3 history. If we have sold any of these, I'm going to hit the F3 key will actually show you what my Versace pants have sold for in the past 30, 60, uh, 6 months to year, an average turnover, which is amazing, which helps you price them, especially if um, you are doing resale, you'll know what to buy them at. And that's a really amazing feature. Uh, so if I want to price it at, let's say, $45, I just hit 45. Um, I don't need to fill in the extension, but that zero was showing there after I did that. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Now it's up at the save button, and as soon as I hit enter, it's going to populate a number next to that item down below. So you will never lose your place as to what item number you're on. That was item number nine, so we've already put eight items into this lady's account previously. Now if I'm ready to put in another pair of pants, I can just go ahead and hit enter, and brand comes up. Let's say I want to put in a pair of um, Liz Claiborne's. Now I'm going to hit L. Oh, L is it. Liz Claiborne is in there. I'm going to hit enter, size five color red, enter, price $50. Notice I'm not putting in the point zero zero. I hit enter, it's back up to the save button, and again it'll appear down the bottom of the screen. Now if I want to change the type of item that I've been putting now, maybe I want to put in a shirt. Let me hit S, H, I, nope, shirt's not in here, we only have shorts. Okay, I'm going to hit enter, brand, um, let's see what brand's in there. Let's, take, let's do a G for guess. We're going to choose GU, size 6, color red, price $67, save. Now if I'm done entering items at this point, I click stop and I am 